Hey everyone, welcome to a new series where we're going to be going over some widget basics. So just the basic understanding of certain functionalities of, of widgets themselves, things that may not be covered in extensively within other type of tutorials, which may get mentioned and kind of just skimmed over afterwards. This is just going to be some brief type of videos that go over those concepts for maybe about 10 minutes just to try to explain it. Uh, so they have a good understanding and concept of what it is so that in the future when you're looking at these like toggle buttons and things like that you actually know what they're referring to and then how to use that to your advantage so in this video i'm going to be going over the hierarchy of widgets so such a thing of having a parent widget to which you have a child under that and then there may be childs under that and then that goes on for i don't know like 20 different widgets things like that, how that relates to other widgets, how you can utilize it, as well as to pass along references within widgets. As well, if you, let's say you're trying to find a widget um, reference within another one, but let's say you don't know how to do that, things like that we're gonna be going over. So yeah, let's go into it. We're gonna be using a common UI project I've already created. It's just a bit easier to showcase as well as you if you've seen my other videos, you'll have a lot of references towards what we're using. So if you are not using Common UI, it does not matter. This still applies to you with any other type of Unreal Engine widget. I just use Common UI because it is a extremely helpful plugin and simplifies. I highly recommend it. But if you don't do it, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to. So. I'm sure by now, if you've created any other type of widget within Unreal Engine, you'll notice that when you add a widget under another widget, that essentially it attaches this child widget to the parent. Uh, so what that means is that when there is a widget that is underneath this widget, so if I drag pop up underneath the canvas panel, you'll see we get the check mark and it adds it there. Now, I don't have to add it underneath. I could add it to its own line, which it won't be attached to the canvas panel. But since I don't really have another option, you'll notice that we can't do that. But for example, let's say if I grabbed a vertical box, I'm going to grab a vertical box here and here. So what I can do is by grabbing this main, I could drag it into this vertical box. And what that would do is now, obviously, everything looks really janky. That's fine. We don't care about that right now. Now, instead of this main widget stack being under the ver or under the canvas panel, it's now under the vertical box. And that now makes the main a child of vertical box. That's not to say it's not a child of the canvas panel, but it's not a direct child. So within Unreal Engine, you have the ability to find a parent. Uh, it's called get parent. And what that does is it gets the widget that is right above the current widget. So typically, if you're creating very extensive widgets, that may not actually apply to most of the time if you're trying to get a parent of something. Because let's say you've organized it with lots of widgets, uh, you have vertical boxes, things like that. Usually, it's not going to be too helpful with you. There are cases where it is not to say it's not useful. Just saying there are times when it may not apply. But nonetheless, uh, to get back to what I was originally trying to say is that a parent child relationship is a widget that is attached to another widget. And most widgets in general have um, quite an extensive hierarchy tree. Now, it may not look that way if you do a lot of widget nesting or uh, modular widgets that are attached to other widgets. And you may get things like what we have here with a stack where it doesn't look that crazy. So we only had about two stacks there. So let me actually undo all of this stuff since we don't need those vertical boxes. From here, the main menu doesn't look like there's a lot going on. But if I actually went to the main menu itself, We'll notice that this has now its own hierarchy. But you'll also notice that we have a lot going down here. And if we actually click the play button, the play button itself is its own widget. 
And if we open it, we'll also notice that it has its own hierarchy. So it ends up going through a long list. However, at the end of the day, the menu stack would then have a reference to everything. Everything would be a child of the menu stack. And to kind of give you a better showcase of that, what this looks like is essentially this. Let's get rid of, let's copy all of this. We're gonna put this in the canvas panel. And then instead of a play button, we could grab all of this and hit paste. And essentially it ends up starting looking a lot longer, but that is already how it looks in the system in itself. We just don't see it because we've organized a lot better for us to make it easier because by looking at this entire list, it ends up being a lot more chaotic and not as easy to view. Because if you were to look at it, you'd be like, okay, we got a canvas panel. We can go down and be like, okay, now we got a we got a activatable stack. Uh, obviously, in this case, activatable stack is quite useless if we're having everything in here. Uh, but that's not the point we're getting across. And then you end up having an overlay, which would then make even less sense because we're using a canvas panel. And then you end up going down. You got a border, and then you got another border, and then a horizontal box. And then you just keep going down, and you're like, okay, now we got text. And you're like, all right, so it's a text for a button, which is cool. Uh, but then at the end of the day, it's not very clear on what you're doing. And if we ended up getting rid of all of these buttons, we would then have to copy all of this. And it would look more like that. Obviously, instead of overlays, it would end up being a button, uh, which is if we typed in button here. But then again, if we added the button, then we also wouldn't have ways to uh, add text to it, which would still require us to create our own widget. But that's kind of how a hierarchy tree works. It ends up connecting all together. It may not look like it within the singular widget, but once you add modular widgets, they all have their own children and they all end up going into a much larger tree. So we start off with the menu stack. We go into the main menu where it has all of its other widgets and it goes down into the button and then the button itself has its own functions. So that is kind of what a hierarchy tree is. And at the end of the day, the very top most widget is the menu stack, which is pushing everything. It has everything attached to it. The other thing I wanted to mention is if you had the main stack as well as the pop-up stack, if you ever wanted the main stack to communicate with the pop-up, you'll notice that the main, uh, which is basically this main menu, is not a child of the pop-up. So how would you get that reference? So there are different ways that you could go about doing it. So within the main menu, if I go to the graph, Right now I'm using common UI and within common UI, it has the stacks which can push widgets, uh, which is essentially adding a widget to a stack. You don't really need to go into that right now, but what happens is when you end up pushing widgets, uh, it's basically like creating a widget within a stack. And then if we were to go into this event, one way you could do that is through blueprint interfaces. So this is interfaces that allow you to pass along um, any type of information you want. In this case, it is pushing the menu stack to this widget that we're pushing, which is to the pop-up. So let's uh, break that down kind of a little further. Essentially what's happening here is this widget is being created. Once the widget is created, we are then telling it if it has this interface to please send this information to it. And then within that widget, you would then get the reference and you could set it to a variable. So if we were to go into quit confirm, what it does is essentially, if we have the interface, we would then take that reference and set it to 
a variable. So that's one way you could go about doing it. Uh, if you ever have a widget where you just want to send something, and this goes along the lines of sending references really anywhere in Blueprint. Now it's not the only way, it's not to say it's the best way, it's just to say that there is a way. So let's go back into the main menu. Another thing that we can do is that instead of sending a event that goes into the menu stack, which is the reference that it has here, what you could do is that if we look into the designer, we'll notice the main is a child of the canvas panel. And then that is also a child of the menu stack. And this is kind of where get parent is not going to work. Because if we go into main menu and let's go to um, construct, we're going to do a slight delay of 0 0.2. And we're going to print a string. And from here, we're going to append. And we're going to say get parent. And then from here, we're going to get, oop, sorry, let's get our self. The self refers to the same widget that we're viewing. And you're going to type get parent. This is exactly what I've been talking about this whole time. It's going to get the widget right above. And we're going to plug that in. It's going to plug in, get the display name. Uh, one second before I do that, I'm going to disconnect over here. I'm not going over that yet, but just for you guys. And then we're going to hit play. And you'll notice nothing happened for the main menu. And the reason for that is because the main menu itself is actually attached to this stack. So this is a common UI thing, uh, which is a bit weird. So kind of wanted to showcase that because we actually got nothing because the widget itself is attached to the stack and it's not actually attached to any of this. Um, so let's go into finding a parent for the main. This is for the activatable stack. <clears throat> for here, we have get parent. We're going to delete this over here. And then we're going to go into play. And you'll notice, oh, we forgot to actually deactivate this one. Let's actually delete all that and hit play. And then it says canvas panel 34, which is just referring to this canvas panel 34 right there. So to boil down what I showed is for one, those that are using common UI, the get parent function is not really the best when it comes to stacks. It's not great to find information. However, for um, any other type of widget that is not being pushed, you can get the parent of the widget. However, by getting the parent, we still ended up getting information that we didn't want. So we wanted the menu stack. And instead of that, we ended up finding the canvas panel. If we wanted to do something else, let's say, let's grab an image. Uh, let's grab a vertical box. Let's put the image here. And then let's also just grab a text. And throw that in. And within this widget, if we wanted to get the parent of, let's disconnect this, plug that in. We are going to get the parent of the image. Now, what exactly would we expect here? Let's go ahead and hit play. And by doing so, we end up saying uh, vertical box 202, which is the direct parent. So I just really want to get the knowledge of how to get parents, what that refers to. Now, we know that doesn't really work. It doesn't help us very much. Sometimes it could be useful. For example, if you have an image that's within a button, and then with 
The image you could do get parent and you'll get the button. So there are ways it can be helpful, but in this case, uh, not so much. So let's actually go back to our menu stack. This is where Common UI comes back in. Um, so for those that are not using Common UI, it may not be um, very useful to you at this time. Uh, I would recommend just for the library uh, of nodes that are available. Common UI has a library that allows you to find a widget of a specific type. And what that means is it will keep going up the hierarchy tree until it finds that widget. And if it doesn't find it widget, the widget, then it's going to be not valid. Uh, so generally, if you're doing find parent, you want to do is valid to make sure that it is, in fact, a valid check. And then you go off. Is it is it valid? Is it not valid? Auto save incoming at a, a perfect time. Uh, you also have the other is valid option as well. If you just want a bool to do a branch or whatever the case may be. Since I know it exists, I'm not going to uh, worry about the is valid, but I did want to specify. And what this will do is I can specify any widget I want to find. In this case is the menu stack. Now we know that the parent is the canvas panel. So if we hit play, we'll notice we are getting the menu stack. So we were able to bypass the canvas panel and go straight to the menu stack. So we'll keep going up that tree. Now, the only other thing is for the main menu, let's say we wanted to do the same thing. So let's go ahead, grab this, copy, and then we're gonna do that paste button. And instead of this, we're gonna do self. And what this is gonna do is gonna find the menu stack of the parents. So let's see what happens. Let's disconnect that and hit play. And you'll notice we actually found it this time. So that is the great thing about find parent widget of type is that it will go to the stack and then it will then go to the parents of the stack. So for common UI, that is extremely helpful and that is a way to find references. Now, for those that are not using common UI, another option to which you could create references is that when creating a widget, so let's go back to our menu stack and let's say you can do create widget. This doesn't have to be done within a widget. This can be done within any blueprint when you're creating a widget. And let's say we're going to create a um, new button. Oh, that's a lot of information. Maybe new button wasn't the way to go. But this, oh, I guess we could use it as a nice reference. When creating a new button, what you're seeing here is a lot of options that you can specify when uh, it's being created. So typically when you are creating any type of widget, so let's say I went into the quick confirmed and let's create a new widget called name. And then we'll just call that hello. What you do is that when you expose any wid widgets variable and you create the widget, you'll be able to pass along reference. So you go instance editable, exposed on spawn. And let's go into here and let's do the quit confirm. And hit that refresh button. Oh, it looks like we forgot to hit compile. Let's go back over here and then hit refresh. And then you'll see hello is now there and you can pass that along. That is another way that you can pass along references. It doesn't have to be hello. It can be a structure. It could be another widget. It could be whatever you want it to be. It's the same way that you create any other blueprints within Unreal Engine. So that is another way that you can pass along references. There are blueprint interfaces, but ultimately it is really helpful to understand when you're looking at a tree to understand how the tree goes, how far along it goes, where it branches off. And that's kind of where I went into this tree box. It's not the most pretty thing looking and I could have done ways to do a little better. I took inspiration from somebody that took, um, that did it himself within our discord, but I realized I probably should have did like an actual like pyramid tree, but nonetheless, what 
this UI does is it starts off with the menu stack at the very top, and then it goes into the main, and that goes into main menu, and that goes into button. And then you also have main stack, which is at the same level as the pop-up. And then you also have main menu, which is on the same as settings menu. If you ever wanted to get a reference to the main menu while you're in the settings, you would then have to go to the main stack and then the main menu. It is basically like a family tree. If you're ever wanting to communicate with your uncle, what would require is you would have to then go to your dad your dad would then go to his dad and then he would go into his uncle. It's kind of like that where uh, you don't have cell phones. You aren't able to just send it directly. There is, however, another option of find oh, widget. Get all widgets of class to where you could look for a very specific widget, such as like the UI carousel. And then you could loop, which would then show you exactly every widget that exists with that kind. And then you could then pull off things like that, which are available. That is another way to find references. I generally don't go with this option just because I prefer the other ones. This is still a valid way. Just make sure to utilize and optimize to your best of capabilities. But that is how we can find references as well as sending them over. There are different ways to do it. I, again, really, really emphasize using common UI. But nonetheless, that is learning the hierarchy. If you have any questions, drop in the comments, join the Discord, all the self-promo stuff. Have a good day.